Hello, Dr. Jason here with Elevate Chiropractic and Rehab, and we are here to go over the bird dog exercise progressions. Um, so this pose starts in a quadruped position just like this. I want you to make sure that your arms are perpendicular to the floor, that your legs are perpendicular to the floor, that you have a nice neutral spine, that your neck here is in neutral and it's not looking down towards the floor and you're not looking up towards the wall in front of you, but you're nice and neutral with a little bit of retraction in your neck there, okay? And we want to make sure we have a nice neutral spine here. So a neutral spine is going to be between cat cow. And cat cow is something that we've done with you in the clinic as well. Michelle, go ahead and show us what cat is. Uh, that would be cow, but <laughs> cow is extension and cat is flexion. All right. So neutral is going to be in between. We want to have a nice flat back with just a, barely a little bit of curve in the lumbar spine. Okay. Now I want you to activate the stabilizing muscles in your shoulders the stabilizing muscles in your scapula, thoracic joint, the stabilizing muscles in your hip. Make sure that your core is strong. And from here, we can challenge her to make sure that all of these muscles are activated, right? Now this tension that she's creating in all these joints should be maintained throughout the whole exercise, all right? Now, the beginning of this, um, when we first progress this from this quadruped head position is we're just gonna raise one limb at a time, try and not let the body deviate in any way whatsoever so we don't want her to shift to the left shift to the shift to the right we don't want this uh neutral spine to be lost we don't want the neutral spine here to be lost so go ahead michelle and raise your right arm and point towards the wall in front of you now from here you're going to feel quite a bit of challenge more than you would think and it's crucial to make sure that you're not losing that posture go ahead and breathe michelle deeply good so you're just holding this for about 10 seconds with the limb elevated it's going through your full breath cycle all right, and go ahead and lower that. And then we're going to progress to the left arm. Raise the left arm. And again, she would hold this for 10 seconds uh, for the sake of time, and she'll go ahead and lower your arm. And let's go with the right leg. So when we raise the leg, it's important to keep the pelvis in this neutral position. Don't let this hip raise up and don't let this hip drop down. So go ahead and raise that leg. You're gonna straighten the leg at the knee and you're gonna point your heel towards the wall behind you. So that, that toe flexes. And I wanna emphasize the importance of keeping this neutral spine here. So you're gonna feel contraction in the glute muscle here and you're gonna feel contraction in the core on the front, making sure not to lose this neutral, you're gonna have a tendency to want to extend. Show us what I show them what I mean by that. So to see this extension as you activate the glute, you're gonna have a tendency to want to extend the low back as well. But we're really focusing on keeping that neutral by squeezing the stomach muscles up here. All right, go ahead and lower that. Now we're gonna progress this one more step, and we're gonna have one arm raised and one leg raised. So go ahead and show us that position, Michelle. Again, focusing on not raising the hip and the back too much, not losing the neutral spine here and not deviating the weight from side to side. You're gonna hold this position for 10 seconds while you breathe deeply through the full breath cycle. Go ahead and lower that position. Now, let's go ahead and switch sides and raise the right leg, left arm. And if we wanna progress this a little bit further, we can make it more difficult by adding a balance component, which is gonna challenge your core a lot more by raising this foot off the ground so that you're balancing just on the knee in the back. All right, going through that full breath cycle there. Good work. Michelle's had a lot of practice, and you too can be as good as her.